Chapter 5 Fun with Paint Earlier we learned how to create various drawings using Shapes tool. Now, let us discover other tools in MS Paint to create our drawings in a much better and easier way. Pencil tool This tool looks like a real pencil which is used to draw freehand drawings on the drawing area. The steps to use the pencil tool are Click on the Home tab. In the Tools group, click on the Pencil tool. The cursor changes into Pencil sign. Select any color from the Colors box. Press the left mouse button and drag the mouse on the drawing area. Click on the Size list box. Select the required thickness of the pencil to make the drawing. Changing the background. In MS Paint, by default, we get a white background, but we can change it according to our requirement. The steps to change the color of the background are Click on the Fill with Color tool. Click on the required color from the Colors box. Click in the drawing area to fill the selected color. Eraser tool Using this tool, you can correct the mistakes or make changes in your drawing. The steps to use the Eraser tool are in the Tools group under the Home tab, click on the Eraser tool. Left click and move the mouse on the drawing area you need to erase. Brushes tool Brushes tool is used to draw lines of different textures. This can be done by selecting the different brush tip of our choice. The steps to select a brush style are The Home tab, then Tools group, then Brushes list box. Click on Brushes drop-down. Select the required brush type. Select the brush size from the size list as you did with Pencil tool. Select the brush color from the color box. Text tool. The text tool is used to type the text in your drawing area. The steps to use the text tool are On the Home tab in the Tools group, click on the text tool. Click anywhere on the drawing area. A new tab appears in the ribbon. Here, we can set the font type, size, color and background for text. Type the required text in the text box. Click outside the text box after completion. Different options available in the text tab are shown below. Text background There are two options of text background. Transparent background this option is used to keep the background of the text area transparent. Opaque Background This option is used to fill the background of the text area. The steps to set the text background are Select the Text tool. Click where you need to type. Text Tools tab will appear. In its Background section, select Opaque or Transparent. Color Picker tool the Color Picker tool helps you pick a color from one part of the figure and fill the same color in any other part of the drawing. The steps to use the Color Picker tool are On the Home tab, in the Tools group, click on Color Picker. Click on the required color in the drawing that you want to set as the foreground color. For example, click inside the star as shown here. Click in the area where you need to fill the picked color. For example, click in the white drawing area. Selection tool. Selection tools are used to select drawing or a part of drawing and perform various operations on the selected part like cut, copy, resize and rotate or flip. The steps to use selection tools are On the Home tab, in the Image group, click on the arrow on Select. Select the desired option from the list. Click and drag over the area of the drawing. You can see a dotted box around the selected area. Various selection tools are explained below. Rectangular Selection Tool This tool is used to select a rectangular shaped area of an image. Freeform Selection Tool The Freeform Selection Tool is used to select an irregular area of a drawing. Select All Tool the Select All Selection tool is used to select the entire drawing. Moving the selection. The selected part can be dragged to a new location. 
The steps to move the selected part of the drawing are Select the part of the drawing which is required to be moved. Bring the mouse cursor inside the selection. The mouse cursor converts into four-sided arrows. Drag the selected part to the new location. Cut or copy and paste the selection. The selected part can be cut or copied and pasted to a new location. The steps to cut or copy and paste the selected part of the drawing are Select the part of the drawing which is required to be copied. Click on Cut or Copy in the Clipboard group. Now, click on the Paste option in the Clipboard group. The cut or copied part of the drawing is pasted on the top left corner of the drawing area. Put the mouse cursor on the pasted part and click and drag it to the desired location. Resizing the selection. The selected part can be resized. Resize means to change its actual size. The steps to resize the selected part of a drawing are Select a part of the drawing. Bring the pointer on the corner or edge of the selection. Click the drag the mouse to increase or decrease the selected part. Or click on resize in the image group. The resize and skew dialog box appears. Give numeric value in the horizontal and vertical text boxes. Click on the OK button. The selected part will be resized. Rotate or Flip tool The Rotate or Flip tool is used to rotate the whole drawing or a selected part of a drawing. The steps to rotate or flip a drawing are Select the image or drawing. Click on the Rotate option in the image group. Select the required option, for example, Rotate right 90 degree. The image will be rotated according to the option. Opening a new paint file. Click on the file button. Click on the new option. A new blank drawing area appears in the paint window. Saving the drawing. To save the file, follow the steps given here. File tab, then save option. In the save as dialog box, select the location to save the file. Type the name of the file in file name field. You can select different file type like JPEG, GIF, etc. From Save as Type drop-down. Click on Save button.